I assume, Marcus, you'll be okay with settling for this. The, amalgam <laughs> the amalgamation of all your friends was not long for this world. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of unstable. <laughs> One strips the bloodied surgical gloves from his hands. <laughs> and for the record, we will never speak of it again. Marcus nods. <laughs> Marcus is at least partially covered in blood oh, as yeah. well. Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best that I could divine from your subconsciousness. Oh. You managed to summon a twofer. Congratulations. I feel like you certainly are a special entity, Marcus. Why? <laughs> you, you feel <laughs> his you. glare has intensified over the past few minutes. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> I've always thought so myself. And yeah, these are, uh, these are the two purest humans I know. Now... <laughs> Now if you would now if you would do me a favor, please illusion them some clothing. I mean, if I must. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus throws some clothes on them. They're in elaborate Edwardian costume costume. You know I could see I could see into your subconscious temporarily, like That's I know. um kind of rude, one. I had to <laughs> I had to do it to create the images, but oh. at the same time. Okay. I, I can tell that this is something that they'd never wear, and is mm -hmm. he? He's way taller than, and they're both just really tall. <laughs> yep. uh -huh. uh, pretty muscular too. <laughs> Look, it's not important. This, these are their, their these are their ideal forms. <laughs> <laughs> the Gregor, oh. the Gregor, and Ash move between different poses in their fancy dress. <laughs> <sighs> Very well. If you're ready to proceed. I had you summon these images, well, let's just say this is part of my training specifically. If you had encountered another tiefling in this area, you would have wound up with a very different process, let's say. In this event, uh, my goal is going to be to stifle completely your human side. Draw it out. It's going to be a visceral and nasty process, so I suggest not opening your eyes. However, I summon these duplicates as a matter of example. Just so you properly understand exactly what you're getting at here. He stops his fingers. A coalescing... Should I be closing my eyes now? No, no, not quite yet. Keep your eyes open. Marcus no, the next part's going him. to... <sighs> A floating ball of coagulating, disgusting bone, flesh, matter floats in the air before one. This is, well, let's say a lesser... To a lesser extent, the power I gained from fully awakening my devil self. You might get something similar or entirely different. Regardless, the power will be there. He snaps his fingers. The bone and blood divide. They uh, they bury themselves within the uh, within the two doppelgangers. This is a rough simulation of what happens when exposed to demon blood. They twitch, writhe, and generally look well agonized. This won't be enough to kill them. However, stifling the human section, he clenches his fist. Suddenly, the creatures begin to wordlessly mouth screams of agony. They collapse on the ground. This, as an example, is what your projected ideal human would be able to do. That roughly was to demonstrate an example. Your most ideal can't quite stand up to what you're about to be subjected to, so you need to do something beyond that. Do you fully understand? If you say so. Uh, what you're about to experience will be pure, unadulterated agony. What you need to do in the next step is take your humanity, what little of it you deem yourself to have, and harden it into a weapon. Justify your own existence or the demon inside will consume you. Do you follow? Marcus nods. <laughs> Very well. I should have you know that very few tieflings survive this section of the process, and yes, you are going to want to close your eyes for this bit. He extends his hand. You, you feel a faint glow against your person. And then, complete, unbelievable, overwhelming pain. Something, uh, something feels incredibly hot on your back, your head. It bears down at you. Teeth gnashing inside your mind, your veins. Flesh begins to decay, to give away. I hold it together for a second, and then my hands go to my temples. <laughs> you arrive in Yocho. The consistency of the air seems to change. It's no longer the blood and adrenaline-fueled battlefield. Instead, it's more of a quiet blood and adrenaline <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> Almost peaceful. <laughs> you notice that the soldiers that charged past you earlier are, um, well, scattered around with holes bored through them. Hmm. Uh, I wish they had stayed behind us. All right, everyone fan out. Make sure nothing sneaks up on us. Kier begins to examine this one's body, very scientifically. Now, if I didn't know better, say that Marcus did this. 
These are like, these are some quality eye beam holes. He'd be proud even. Hmm. I examine this corpse. Have I seen anything like this before in my many years of seeing dead bodies mauled by monsters? No, you haven't. So many years. It, it, here's <laughs> right on the money. If you had to guess, this would be the work of some sort of boring energy attack likely fired from one one's eyes. Hmm. It looks familiar, but it's so well aimed, I know it can't be Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, buddy. Uh, Buddy, with the passive aggressiveness. Come on, Marcus would cry if he heard that. Kier continues examining the body. It's like... Okay, the, he shot his own ankle once. It's like the... It's like one of the many one things Marcus is proud of. <laughs> Kier continues examining the body. I figured it was like an intimidation thing. Well, I'm confused. Yeah, uh... I, did the band have lasers? Has anyone... Has anyone noticed that? Zalvetta looks around. Uh, with a somewhat eager smile oh this is perfect this is absolutely perfect i wasn't expecting something like this uh he investigates this body yeah i think you managed to draw their leader out gregor furrows his brow <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 this is ideal thank you so much in fact this is who everything i wanted and much much more before you you kill this guy i want to have a chat with him <laughs> They haven't been so good about chatting before, but I got a good feeling about this. <laughs> Trust me, you're not going to want to talk to this one. Um, kind of, uh... Salveta, you're one of my best friends in the whole world. <laughs> Just trust me on this. Okay, buddy? Gregor puts an arm around Salveta and kind of sways him around in a friendly motion. <laughs> what Gregor <laughs> understands is friendly. Salveta makes a slight grumbling noise. Cure over in the distance cries a single tear. <laughs> <laughs> One of my best friends. <laughs> Here you count for two of my best friends. Oh, okay. Then that's Because you're so tall. Entirely, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, so what do you think about progressing maybe a little further into the village? I mean, our entire hmm. goal was to secure this area. Horvin continues yeah. to look around. He somehow found a shirt again. <laughs> I call to the guards. Has anyone found anybody? I guess not. Mm. All right, yeah, we got to guess they're all dead. We should be really careful. Will, we got to explore this place. Make sure there's hopefully there's some survivors from the town. Yeah. Isn't it like wasn't this the band headquarters? Isn't it kind of weird that they're not here? Whoa, watch out for the murderous brook. <laughs> carefully walks <laughs> over. Well, they could have I don't know if it was their headquarters, if they just sent out an occupation party. It could have been they could have retreated after seeing what happened back there. Horovin <laughs> leaps over. He's once again completely covered head to toe in blood. He sighs deeply. <laughs> <sighs> just always seems to happen with me. Alright. Everyone stay close. It's quiet and peaceful. Which is nice, but I'm also suspicious. It's also awfully corpsey. Yeah, well, I was expecting that. A stirring comes from the treacherous pile of rocks. <gasps> Am I gonna have to lift one? Was, Mar was Marcus right about those things all along? <laughs> sure Created of light. It pulses gently. You feel weirdly at peace around it. It moves with a serene grace. Living runes crawl around the surface of its luminescent body. It takes a step down. Oh, it's just a, it's just a <laughs> laser bear. It's like... <laughs> and Gregor grabs Kier. <laughs> I mean, if I was gonna, if Mother Nature wasn't gonna invent them, I was eventually. Like, Gregor, let's be fully honest. The bear continues to wander forward. <laughs> halt, laser bear. <laughs> wow. What are you? Horvin grabs Other the than... two and very calmly shoves them back. Okay. Horvin, don't kill it. No, this is weird. This is distinctly odd. I'm unsure Anybody know what this what is? They're doing here, but What do you mean there? Uh just then, the bear opens its non-existent mouth. Where you imagine the creature's neck suddenly draws straight backwards. Its head bores into its body. Yeah. It twists contorting yeah. and detonates <laughs> with a pulse. Horvin, what? Horvin stumps backwards. Okay, those are bear bombs! They just stole my idea twice over! Kill <laughs> <laughs> points over Gregor. <laughs> but, <sighs> <sighs> you notice that there is no damage to the natural material around. Uh, it was a pulse that only traveled through the air, stinging at your skin. This is a problem. 
This is a serious problem. Those creatures are meant to d uh, distinguish, hunt down, and eradicate only human life. They're a creation of the band. You need to be exceedingly careful. Great. All right, everyone, stay close, but not too close, so they can't get us all at once. I don't want to be bear bombed. It's okay, Kier. You're with me. Okay. So, should should we move forward? What do we do? What do you know about these bomb things? As I said earlier, he's probably the band leader. That one's a little special. Quite the problematic menagerie. I'm quite unsure of what these things are, but they're exceedingly dangerous, as you can tell. But if those things are here, that means they're close. Zalveta continues looking around. Do you think we can even hit them? Any attack with a physical object that should disrupt their form will detonate them. It's just tricky. Uh, especially for us. He looks around. Entirely melee fighters. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh. I mean, I can... I got a mean throwing arm. Really, I thought you were following the path of the dual swords. It's You, uh, you're some sort of... You pitcher of some sort? Really? Rude! I am a bombsman! <laughs> a, a peaceful lilting note travels through the town. You notice creatures wandering around the outside of your vision. Ooh. In different shapes. Okay, so... Do we gotta find this guy and, like, like beat him up before these things be can blow up on us? Yeah, everyone grab some rocks. Maybe we can do it with that. <gasps> Maybe we should go to the murderous pile, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> Once our greatest enemy can now become our greatest ally, Kier takes off. He trips over one of the rocks. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Doing so might have actually spared Kier's life as a... As a strangely shaped bird creature bores into the ground immediately in front of him. I found what made the holes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really worrying. Okay. Kier, get some rocks and start throwing them. I'll cover you. Okay, okay, okay. Gregor puts away his glaive and takes out the bow that he got earlier. Hmm, interesting. I'll observe. Yeah, I skipped some rocks back when I was a kid. It's one of my fondest memories. <laughs> Del leans down. <laughs> yeah, you guys look strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good times. <laughs> <laughs> he shot puts it into the distance. It hits one of the bear-like creatures with a dramatic thunk. It twists and detonates. Hey, band leader, are you out there? <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think they'd answer, Gregor. We just want to talk. I don't think they... I don't think they're gonna answer, Gregor. I mean, there's always hope. <laughs> Gregor turns around and spins an arrow into his bow, and that one flies off. But then he <laughs> puts a normal arrow into his bow and shoots it at this. You hit it! It detonates. One of the uh, one of the more fox or wolf-like ones saunters right up. It opens its mouth. Contained within its mouth is a horrible, unblinking eye. <laughs> at least it's not two. <laughs> <laughs> With a loud, pronounced ring. It fires a beam directly at Gregor. Gregor is going to attempt to dodge roll and block at the same time with his glaive. Gregor attempts to dodge roll and block at the same time. He hits the ground dramatically hard. <laughs> Thwack! Should focus on one. <laughs> Kier whips the stone at the thing. It pierces through its side. Its shape contorts inwards, firing off beams in all directions. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. He's, Enough of that. These things are really problematic. Gregor knocks another arrow. Zalveta climbs up high. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Zalveta? I'm Just looking. I'm looking. Him. Gregor knocks another arrow, pointing at the approaching spirit thing. Yeah. It is so weird. <laughs> uh, you managed to beautifully pierce through the creature, tearing straight through its body long ways. <laughs> It collapses, dividing inwards. The creatures seem to continue coming, however. Damn, I'm rusty. Uh, I'm running out of arrows. How's everybody else doing? <laughs> Still got plenty of rocks. Kier keeps lobbing rocks. <laughs> one of the, uh, one of the creatures, one of the bird-like creatures flies directly at Zalveta. Uh, seemingly unaware of it, until a loud and pronounced... Crossbow bolt flies from a nearby area. Sylvetta, <laughs> <laughs> with a curse, dives to the ground, dodging both bird and bolt. <laughs> you hear a distant, ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what uh, in the actual hell? <laughs> uh, always coming through in a pinch. All right. Zalveta, you okay? I hit my face on a bunch of rocks, but yeah, other than that, I'm fine. I'll keep <laughs> looking for the thing, okay? Just buy me a little more time. Okay, we need eyes on the ban king. Gregor looks around and tries to figure out how to take as many of these out 
at the same time as possible. They approach more rapidly. You hear a whistle. They all descend on the group. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. Gregor takes out three arrows and tries to knock them all at the same time. <laughs> okay. Gregor attempts to knock three arrows at the same time. Kira emerges with handfuls of rocks. Each raise their respective ranged weapons and wind up just throwing them. <laughs> the creatures descend. Each begins to charge up, distorting light energy around them. Horovin lets out a sigh. Situation seems dire, so I don't mind. He cracks his back, places a sword in the ground. With a word, a gout of fire erupts from around Horovin's feet. They cut back into the creatures, intertwining with their energy. They're dyed temporarily a bright red, seemingly grow confused and begin to dissipate rather than detonating. What? Horovin, <laughs> I didn't know you did whatever that was. Minor spirit folk business. Pay it no mind. You, you have other things to deal with. I do. <laughs> uh, Gregor tries to pick up his last three arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they have scattered across the ground immediately before you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need to do something very awesome. Gregor runs forward, does a roll on the ground while picking up an arrow, and knocks it. It's actually a snake! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Gregor whips it at the band, at the <laughs> spirit. It hits the spirit! The, cr the snake travels directly through it. Once again, you're drawn to the interesting phenomenon where the... Spirit, uh, where the spirit's detonation didn't seem to influence the leaves around it or anything natural. As, uh, as was mentioned, you believe this thing is meant only to kill humans. All right. We're going to need to make a leaf suit. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, it's a little disappointing that this is all you're capable of. He turns around looking. Buy me a second. I'll take care of it. Are you ready to give up? The creatures bear down. The situation is not at all in hand. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to do a tactical backing up. We got to we gotta figure out what's going on with this ban emperor. As I said, buy me some time. I will take care of this for How you. How much time? Hmm, let's say a few good seconds of chanting. How many seconds? <laughs> You're wasting time right now. <laughs> Isn't that the point? More than glares. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can waste more t time, Horovin. I have plenty of questions. Waste their time, not my time. <laughs> <laughs> Del lifts a boulder. Buy you all the time in the world, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Gregor, any big plans? Well, I got these arrows. <laughs> Two of them. One was a snake. <laughs> uh, Gregor notices that these creatures are all in a line. Perfect. To shoot them. Gregor draws his bow real hard and lets an arrow fly hoping to pierce all three at once Gregor aims an arrow directly at all three a freaking feat considering the fact that one of those creatures is far in the air and the parabolic <laughs> arc would have to be absurd however the outrider rolls forward taking aim straight up knocking the arrow he extends one knee firing straight up beneath the creature. It fires, dramatically carrying the lighter-than-air beast forward, connecting with the sparrow. <laughs> it sticks through that creature, dragging it backwards, downwards, into the last. They connect, creating a gigantic explosion. Dow whips a boulder that slams down on top of all three of them. <laughs> Kebabs are gone totally on purpose. <laughs> 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 <sighs> a good good combo, Tao. Eh. Kier throws a smaller rock, it collides with the larger rock, making a large <laughs> clattering noise. He flashes you a thumbs up. Uh you too, Kier. Uh how much uh explosive projectile stuff do you have on you, Kier? Well I I, mm. I know a lot, but how much can you get going right now? <laughs> you stare at Kier noticing all the fuses sticking out of him. <laughs> uh point them at them, that's all. Point? Oh boy, how you doing, Horvin? <laughs> Don't need to answer that, but I assess the situation Horvin with Horvin. Horvin continues to focus. The, uh, the leaves around him begin to whirl. He mutters something in a silent voice. The, wi uh, the water in the creek begins to churn violently. You notice the leaves beginning to rustle. Hmm, okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Is that magic? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's magic. I, had a, I don't even know what is and isn't magic anymore. <laughs> I don't think I ever knew. <laughs> I'll have to ask Marcus someday. <laughs> I wish he was here. Ah, uh, that'd be useful right now. He'd show them how a real eye beam is done, and I beam wings directly <laughs> over here. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the creatures begin their assault. The fox-like creatures take a shot at Kier. One, two... Then three, Kier dramatically jumps into the air, grabbing his knees. Marcus called it a cannonball dodge. He hits the <laughs> ground dramatically. He instantly feels something dislocate. One of the beams hits him directly in the back. Ah! Oh, you okay? Ah! <laughs> Another right. creature takes aim at Dow. With one brutal shot, it aims at the man. Dow slams his axe down on the ground immediately before it. The beam diffuses partially. The <laughs> raisins and the sparkle axe of friendship growing rejuvenated. However, the beams catch him in the lower leg, burning him. He spins the axe around, catching it on his shoulder again. Some of the glue peels partially off. The poster becomes disentangled. Oh, they're more powerful than I anticipated. <laughs> I'll assume his cape has some sort of protective qualities, seeing as he's alive up to this point. Ah, uh, yeah, you can stuff I'll... it in the hole to stop the bleeding. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, I wish Ash was here. Gregor takes his last arrow and takes aim at the creature who is lazing his friends. Gregor's eyes focus in, his brow furrows. He knocks his arrow. He feels it, he feels it one with the bow. He draws the string fully back. The arrow flies well over the creature and into the distance. <laughs> Can't win them all. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I'm a little surprised that you managed to get that shot before. <laughs> uh, you win some, you lose some. That's, it evens out. Gregor takes out his clave again. There you are. Zalvetta darts off the top of the pile of stones, vanishing. Wh where you are? Okay. Gregor spins his clave around, getting ready to deflect some beams as best he can, and also maybe intimidate these things. S uh, suddenly, the energy in the air stops. Horovin ceases his chant. Are you done? And now, by the name of the great spirits of Jinkala, I invoke you. Harvest deities, those of water, air, earth. It's been, he poses, a good year! <laughs> An explosion of energy emits from the man. God, yes. <laughs> the spirits change in consistency, color. They seem confused, disoriented. They amble away, dissipating into what appear to be fireflies. Wh Horvin. Yes? What was that? Spirit folk mumbo jumbo, as I said. Are you a spirit folk? No, not expressly. I have friends, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he looks around at you sh shrugging slightly. I'm satisfied with that explanation. <laughs> Kirlos rolls out of a nearby tree. <laughs> <laughs> he hits the ground hard. <laughs> that was a great fight. I had no idea you could do something like that, Horovin. Yes, I tried to keep it I tried to keep it a secret from you, because I assume you'd get weird about it. Weird about it? No, we need to put that to use! Shooting laser beams, I want you in the Valor Clan right now, before I only thought you had eyebrows and giant swords going for, for you. Now I'm seeing that that's completely not the case. What was it? What was the name of that spell? It's not, it's not expressly a spell, it's actually uh, invoking a name of lesser power. Can we move on? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that'd be but, cool. I don't know if I can move though. <laughs> Cares uh, on the can ground. we get a medic? And do you have any medics? Eh? Anybody? <laughs> Is anybody? <laughs> Did we bring any of those? <laughs> I wish Marcus and his bandages were here. As if on cue, doing? a small gibbering figure walks out of the woods. <laughs> hands out a, it hands you a single roll of bandages. Is that the is that the bad one, Gregor? Is is he gonna kill me now? Is, is gonna kill me for being complicit with the proletariat, <laughs> Gregor? D don't say that too loud, kid. <laughs> Gregor, is, is this how it's gonna end? A bloody imp revolution? No, no, I no. Just Gregor, I'm seeing the light at the yeah. end of a tunnel. It looks Gregor like a new claps imp his hand over. It Kier's looks like mouth. a new imp state. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you up real good. You're gonna be fine. I mean, is he gonna be fine? <laughs> I suppose I could do something. Um, we're gonna want to throw him in the water first. Uh, I trust you, Gregor. <laughs> okay, you got it. <laughs> More spirit folk mumbo jumbo going on here. Well, yes, to a lesser degree. Some sort of water water beast like a horse lives in that that stream over there. Are we going to see some water horse ceiling magic? Huh? Huh? He shakes horror then. <laughs> <laughs> No, I threw him in the water because the screams are going to be unbearable and I figured it'd muffle it slightly. <laughs> now, excuse me, I'm going to get to uh, work. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
<laughs> you know, lungs are important, I've found. <laughs> important to keep dry. Not important for this. Oh, no. Oh, oh I, I just pat Kier on the shoulder. <laughs> Stiff upper lip. <laughs> I'm one of you, imps. I'm one of you. He yells <laughs> incoherently from the water. Then you hear the clattering of armor. Guards storm into the village of the Valor and Gold varieties. Yeah! <laughs> Many lives were lost that day crossing the treacherous brook. <laughs> oh, sir, sir! Oh, down the diggers, sir! Finally here! Freaky laser monsters attacked us! They were everywhere! Down the digger, casualties? Down the digger slams his axe on the ground. There's no response. <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is, you boys did a great job. We won the war. The war is won. I mostly fought. I did brave battle from a tree. You should have seen it. I don't think anything's won yet. <clears throat> right now, your job, kids, is to go around and secure the village, okay? Make sure everyone's all right, okay? We're dealing with something over here. We got a wounded man. Very Stick wounded man. It looks yeah. like he's getting more wounded. Was the river always that red? Holy shit. <laughs> Stick together. Two people. Find a buddy. And, uh, don't be afraid to run back here if things are getting hairy. I'm going, I'm going to give, teach you all a new hand sign right now, since Dao is, uh, well, he lost his translator. Uh, this new hand sign, you should deploy it as you need. This one is for laser bears. Do you follow me? Laser bears. I want everyone to memorize this. You see any laser bears, you spread that hand sign around and you get back to <laughs> us. Good. Get, get, get to it. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Be careful. I've never felt this alive before, guys. I've never felt this dead before. <laughs> Horvin, I gotta ask. I gotta ask at this point. What are you doing? Well, personally, I'm trying to recreate exactly what he's missing using natural substitutes. Since there's no nice substitute for human flesh, and I assume you don't want to deface any corpses, he glares at you. We're going to have to replace it with things that'll be more painful until the spirit folk readjusts it. Who can... I offer anything? Uh, unless unless you're willing to give up. He looks down at the hole in Kier's uh, stomach. Some of the organ bits around this area, Horvin <laughs> touches his lower abdomen. You notice uh. he's somehow lost his shirt again. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I really need those. <laughs> yes, that's exactly the problem. Recreating those using leaves and sticks as a substitute is an agonizing process. Never again. Never. I'm never getting hurt again. I'm never going to war again. I'm never. No, no, no. I give Kira a big hug. I'm so wet. gently. <laughs> Did we win? We uh, drove some off. Zalveta <laughs> is what? doing his thing. Was it a good year? I have the feeling it was a good year. Why do I think? I think that? it was a good year. I think I, I look at Horovin for confirmation. Yeah, I think it was a good year. <laughs> Horovin sternly nods. Kier, okay, cool. <laughs> Group begins to secure Eocho with the aid of Del the Digger, Kirlos, and Horovin. Any remaining ban are quickly driven off. However, nobody finds a single sign of either uh, Zelveta or the supposed band leader that caused the attack. I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> However, as circumstance would have it, Gregor did manage to find the squirreled away hostages contained within the cellar of the local inn. The army finally comes to arrest as all the missing persons of Iocho are accounted for. Marcus sits, writhing in his chair, head clutched in his hands, for all of five seconds. Then. Wait, what? <laughs> his head snaps up. Whew. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold, oh. hold on a second hold on a second hold on a second i literally just I displaced your heart for a moment yeah um that wasn't that's not your that's not something i want to do again uh, i extracted Ooh. i extracted about five pounds of flesh from your immediate front oh the that sheer that agony the sheer agony of the physical the existential torment uh -huh. should be uh, you know it was bad but i I'm feeling pretty okay i mean you told me what i had to do right <laughs> i had to justify my existence <laughs> He puts his head in his hands. What the, What in the actual fuck? What conclusion could you have come to? That was five seconds. You took five seconds. Oh, it was really simple. I have like six cups of coffee right here. I was ready to suffer for hours. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to oh, suffering for one, hours here. I'll have here. one of those. Thank you. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Marcus very unsubtly takes a cup of coffee. He takes a long sip. Here's my answer. Your question's bullshit. What? <laughs> yeah. A reason for existing? 
that's idiotic. I can give you like two dozen off the top of my head. No, but you're supposed to pick one that'll keep you, that'll keep the insanity off. You can't fend the insanity off with, with something as simple or slapdash as, oh, I'll just find a reason. It doesn't work. Well, no, but I already have a whole bunch. There's calisthenics with Gregor in the morning. <laughs> You're just going to make mega stir fry tonight. Is that okay, ongoing okay. poker game. I got to make my money back at some point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. I, fr yeah. Friendship just works fine as an, ex as an example to get by. Like friendship. I've heard that before, but people usually say, yeah, it's because of the power of friendship. Not because, eh, fuck it. I'll just find my own reason. That's it's not about friendship. One, I, it is about, it is about friendship. I mean, come on. I'm a huge <laughs> geek for friendship when it gets right down to it. I don't need to decide on a concrete reason for my existence here and now, no matter what you say. That's not who I am. It never has been. I am. It's what you're saying is you can basically find your own justification, whatever, and just roll with it. You'll play the, you'll play the role of someone who can take on any role. Yeah, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. Straight up had this bullshit. Whole, uh, kind of had this whole speech <laughs> ready, but you know, He's, I guess I can just get right to, right to the end, like you know. He reaches forward, grabs Marcus by the horn, and slams his head on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why? He leans back in the chair. Something that weak won't grant you power at all. You're accepting that your nature is somehow empty. That there was, that your reason for existence is flexible. That there's nothing that clouds or taints your soul. It's profoundly undemonic. He sips on his cup of coffee. <laughs> you sound salty. <laughs> Marcus sits back. Look. What's wrong with a little bit of flexibility? I'm not declaring myself as worthless, I'm just recognizing that I can go in whatever direction the situation calls for. Flexibility at the cost of a reason to be is not flexibility at all. It's a... it's an excuse. Nothing more than that. Why should Listen. I need some single, all-consuming reason to justify my existence? Isn't it enough to find one every day as I go along? <sighs> <laughs> One stands up very seriously. You, this <laughs> really seems to not be going how you planned. Is there a problem? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that I won, right? This is... <laughs> your hair was supposed to change color, or your skin was supposed to peel off, or you're oh, supposed no, to turn gray. Oh no, I have a single gray hair. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lifts the... up. oh no, Marcus burns it to a cinder. Okay, hold on. <laughs> he lifts up his many cups of coffee. Listen, this this revelation... It won't get you anything because you've come to no conclusion. And guess what? I know who you are. He clatters, taking a few steps, leaving a stain I behind him. I introduce myself two or three times, yes. <laughs> and now that you know the rules of the game, well, welcome to it. Tieflings will be hunting you, and without some sort of grand awakening, you know what they're going to find? They're going to find a child of a tiefling who couldn't come to some demonic conclusion. Supposed to suffer at Wait, least. Wait, so for does that mean hour. that I didn't awake my de my demonic nature? Because I'm pretty sure that I can feel something kind of raging in the center of my chest. Oh, you're it's awakened like now. It's just also boiling a fucking, pit of black. Also energy. a fucking joke. He opens a door that doesn't exist and clatters out of it. <laughs> a cup of coffee is left behind on the table. Marcus picks it up and sips it gently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. Mm -hmm.